Dad, I've always wondered, how does a nuclear bomb actually work? It all starts with nuclear fission, Steve. Splitting atoms to release massive energy. The fuel is usually uranium-235 or plutonium-239. When a neutron hits one of these atoms, it splits and releases more neutrons and energy. Like a chain reaction? Exactly! One split releases more neutrons, which trigger more splits. If enough of this happens quickly in a dense mass, you get a runaway chain reaction. So what makes it explode instead of just heating up? It's all about reaching critical mass, the minimum amount of fissile material needed to sustain the reaction. In a bomb, the material is kept in subcritical pieces and then forced together using conventional explosives. How do explosives help with that? In the implosion type design, shape charges compress the core into a super dense state, making it go super critical. That's when fission ramps up exponentially in microseconds. So how much energy are we talking about? Just a few kilograms of uranium or plutonium can release the equivalent of tens of thousands of tons of TNT, thanks to E equals MC squared. A small amount of mass turns into pure energy. And it all happens that fast? On under a microsecond. The pressure and temperature spike to millions of atmospheres and degrees, forming a fireball and shock wave that levels everything nearby. That's terrifying and fascinating. Nuclear physics is powerful, and that's why these designs are so tightly controlled. Engineering at this level demands precision measured in nanoseconds and micrometers. 